Hey, it's Tandy with Common Ground Alaska. I am so excited for the Alaska Homestead Expo, which is coming up this weekend. Oh my goodness, this has been such an amazing thing to put together, and I'm really excited to see everybody on April 27th and 28th. There have been a lot of questions about the classes. I've been answering emails and texts and different uh, messages about the classes. So I thought it would be good to give an overview of how the expo is going to work and also give a super brief description of each of the classes. So I'm just going to jump right in. I want to say if you don't have your Alaska Homestead um, Expo tickets yet, you can get those at commongroundalaska.com. Now, here is, I want to start by talking about the pig processing class, because I've had lots of questions about that. People are wondering if maybe day two is a repeat of day one or any of that. And the answer to that is no, it is an entire course on processing a pig. Of course, the pig will arrive. It, we're not slaughtering it and doing all of that. That's just going to be a halved pig. And he's going to start from there. A couple things they're going to be sharing. They're going to talk about smoke curing. They're going to talk about dry curing, and they're going to talk about salt curing. So what I think is cool about this class is it's not just for pigs. You can take this information and use it on moose or caribou or even chickens. We smoke a couple of our chickens usually for the holidays. You can use it for beef. If you're cutting up a beef, you can use this information for anything. So although they will go into the cuts and everything of a pig, it's so much bigger than that. And if you're processing any meat at all whatsoever, this is going to be a really helpful class. So they're also going to be making lard and they're going to be doing the leaf lard as, and they're doing the regular lard yard. So they're, so they're going to do them separately and they're going to show all how to make that. This is a really comprehensive class. They're fitting a lot into a day and a half. However, I realize that for some people, you have lots of other classes you want to attend and you want to attend the processing class. And I would say for the 65 bucks, it's okay to just buy a ticket for someone who's just going to attend that class. They can still enjoy the vendor hall. They can come for the worship time on Sunday, the bluegrass worship time. They can come to the ice cream social and just attend the, the pig processing class. I, it's going to be really amazing. Well, these guys are professionals. They teach this professionally. Uh, we're flying them up from the lower 48. It's our only people that we're flying up because we feel like Alaskans have a lot of knowledge and Alaskans should learn from Alaskans. Another question that I had was Susie Crosby is teaching a, a couple of goat classes. And they were asking if those were repeat because they're each two hour classes not repeats. So one of the classes is in a classroom. She's got PowerPoints. She's um, going to be showing how to make certain things with goat's milk. I think you're going to get some samples of some cheeses and some different things that she makes with goat milk. So she's going to be demonstrating that side of things there. And then that's the class that's in the morning. In the afternoon, the class is outside. It's in the animal tent. And there she'll have her goats. She's going to do a goat milking demonstration, I believe. But she's going to talk about goat care, goat husbandry, all that stuff. So if you're interested in goats or Honestly, again, her class is, is similar to the pig class. A lot of it's going to spill over into other livestock as well. These are going to be really, these are both going to be really good classes and super comprehensive. So that's that. And the other one that I wanted to talk about really quick is the orienteering class. The orienteering class is for kids who are 12 and older. And the purpose of this class is to teach them backwards skills without a GPS. So let's say that this thing is in their pocket and it's nothing but a brick because there's no cell service where they're at and they're lost. They've been out hunting, they've been exploring, they're hiking, whatever it is, and they cannot find their way. This class is specifically for that to help you figure out how to gain your bearings and find your way. It's not a, it's not a full backwards um, course, but it's pretty close. It's pretty amazing. Chris Olson is teaching that class. He's taught this class multiple times before. He's really good at it. There are a few things that your kiddos need to have to take this class. So they need to have a protractor. A protractor is one of those kind of D-shaped little pieces of plastic. We got ours at Three Bears on Pittman. It was like 99 cents. Might have been $1.99. Super cheap. They also need to bring a directional compass. So not the compass that goes with the protractor, but a directional compass. So it needs to have north, south, east, and west. They need to bring a pencil and they need to bring a ruler. We'll have a couple of extras of some of these things, but otherwise we're just going to have to share around because if someone doesn't bring one, please just make sure if your kids plan to take this, that they do bring the needed supplies. Something to keep in mind is that they need to be 12 and older, and this class is six hours long. He's starting at, at 10 in the morning, 
and it's going to go until four in the afternoon. It's in the wide open. You can see them the whole time. Part of it is classwork and a lot of it is just it just laid out and I, I don't know because I've never seen it done, but it's just, it's hands-on. So it's going to be a really great class and it's totally free. It's included in, and actually <laughs> adults have to buy a ticket to bring their kids, but the class is free and the kids get in free. That's a pretty awesome deal. So there's that. So those are the bigger classes that I wanted to tell you about. I also wanted to mention a couple of other things that are going on with the expo. One is the ice cream social. So the ice cream social goes from six to eight. We're going to be dishing up ice cream right at six o'clock. If you want to come to the ice cream social, it's just upstairs in the Lions Club. There's You should have a map of how the Lions Club is laid out. It's really easy to find. You come upstairs and we're going to be dishing up ice cream first. And you can just find a seat. You can visit with friends. You can decompress a little bit. At six at 6.30, that's when we're going to start with our speakers. And we have three speakers. We're going to, we have some quick announcements from the farm. And then we have three speakers. This is totally free. Again, your ice cream is even free. It's the ice cream is coming from Big Dipper. So it's homemade and it's really good stuff. So we're pretty excited to offer this to you. If you, and we will have a couple dairy free options as well. If you're planning to come to that, be there that we'll eat and socialize from six to six 30. And then we are having speakers. So we have Barb Thomas coming. She, her family homesteaded the original muskox farm. So that's cool. And um, so she's going to talk about homesteading, like when it was just what you had to do. So she's a, an original homestead kid and there aren't many of those left. So, and she's just funny and she tells a great story and it's going to be a really good time. Jody Anderson is also going to be there and she's going to talk about a trip that she took to the Circumpolar Ag Conference. And it, it Jody is one of the best storytellers I know, and she's a, such a gift to Alaska, not just agriculture, but people who are trying to live close to the land. And she's going to share some experiences that she had while she was there. These are other people who live, these are other countries that are in the same kind of climate that we are. And some of them are being really innovative and doing some really cool things. And so this should inspire you to maybe push the, push things just a little further, or just to change small things in your lifestyle, things that we can all change to make, to make our lives maybe just a little easier and to live a little closer to the land and to let Alaska provide for us a little better than we do currently. So there's that. And then Josh Smith is coming. Everyone knows who Josh Smith is. He's um, been propagating a lot of really cool plants lately and been talking about what he's doing. And he's going to just, he, Josh is an encourager. If you've ever had time with him or even just listened to one of his um, videos, he just has this attitude that when he's telling you how he's done something, when you get done with that video, you feel like, I think I could do that. Cause he just is naturally encouraging like that. So he's also going to be speaking at the ice cream social. So come prepare to eat some ice cream and settle in and just enjoy. And it might be your first chance to just decompress a little bit after the long day. I'm going to do a quick rundown of the rest of the classes that we're offering just because people have had questions about them previously. The in these, I'm going to start with the kids classes. So these are the kids classes that are being offered. Red Cross is doing some emergency preparedness. They, on Saturday, they're going to be talking about flood, fire, and earthquake. On Sunday, they're actually only talking about flood and earthquake because the fire department will be there talking about fire with the kids. So that's going to be cool. Ben Worley is going to be talking about worms and how you can use worms in composting. You can use them in your garden. He's just such a fun teacher. He's a homeschool dad, and he's just going to make it really fun to learn about what worms can do in your garden. This is the kids class. There's also a vermiculture adult class. So that's really cool too. We have knots and donuts that's being taught by Dan Moore and his troop. He's got a trail life group that is going to be teaching this class and that's going to be a lot of fun. So you learn to make a knot and then you get to go make a donut. Does it get any better than that? Trevor Todaro is going to be teaching firearm safety and fundamentals. Again, that one is also 12 plus, but what a great class for your kids to learn. Just even though I know most parents in Alaska teach their kids gun safety, it's just nice having someone else, another adult, reinforcing what you've already taught them. That class will be fun. Emma Marriott Predmore, she is she's super fun. She's English, so she has a super fun accent. She's going to be teaching the kids how to make seed bombs, which are these little seed, little seed, little clay things that you can put in the garden, you plant, and then they spring up with all these great beautiful plants. She's going to be talking about making seed tape and the kids will actually have hands-on get to make some seed tape. She's also going to be talking about succession planning with seeds, so it's going to be really fun. Tiffany Copeland 
from Aurora Cakery and Bakery is going to be teaching kids how to the science behind sourdough banana bread. And she makes science fun. Let me tell you, this class is going to be just a blast. So um, here's the thing about the sourdough class. It's limited to 12 kids, 12 students, but we're being, we're teaching it twice. So it'll be taught once on Saturday and once on Sunday. Mm -hmm. What might be the easiest thing to do with this one, because we have to limit who is able to come, is maybe just one person from each family come. They get all the flyers. They'll get some sourdough to bring home. They get their bread to bring home. And um, then they can share with their siblings what they learned. So that might be one way to go about that. Um, Trevor Tadero is also going to be teaching a leatherworking class, and that's ages seven and up. How cool is that? The kids get to do some leatherworking. Um, and then the fire department will be there on Sunday to talk about 10 steps of fire safety. That's just for the kids. The kids are free and they get to choose from all of these classes. Isn't that awesome? So now I'm going to talk about the Saturday workshops that we have. I'm just going to go over them really quick because most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, Bob Van Veldhusen is going to be talking about soil prep for the garden and soil health for your Alaska orchard. Uh, Jared Eisen will be talking about ham radio. Um, he actually has a presentation that he's giving. It's pretty incredible when you think about how our communication system is could be so easily broken. Having a, a form of communication that doesn't require, again, this service is really, it's a good thing to consider. So he's going to be talking about that. Elaine Martin is going to be talking about foraging, all different kinds of foraging. So in one class, she's going to be talking about Alaska medicinal and edible plant identification, which is awesome. Of course, we all need that. In a different class, she's going to be talking about mushrooms and including chaga. So they're both going to just really be great classes. Mark Wolbers from the Pioneer Fruit Growers Association is going to be talking about starting and managing your Alaska orchard. I'm going to be a teaching a 101 gardening class. So this is not in depth, but it is going to be the basics. And my goal in that class is to make it so that when you leave, you feel like I could plant stuff and I think I'm going to get a harvest out of it. That's what I'm hoping that you'll do. And so that you'll leave with. And so you, as you leave, you'll be thinking about different things that you can plant and things that you can do and ways that you can improve your soil and how you can go about it. And I think it's going to be a really cool class. Again, it is just a 101 class. So if you're already an avid gardener, you may not need this other than maybe there'll be some fun tips for you that you hadn't um, thought of before. Michelle Deering is going to be talking about raising meat rabbits in Alaska. She is an incredible resource for meat rabbits. And what I love about this is you can raise them on such a small area. So you can raise a lot of protein for your family very inexpensively with a small footprint. So that's pretty cool. Be well chiropractic, raising healthy kids naturally. That is, this class is really neat. Part of what I love about how Be Well Chiropractic goes about their classes is it's very no nonsense, but it's also very simplified. So I don't know how they do it, but they go deep while keeping it simple. And they encourage you on ways that you can just do better. We're all looking for ways that we can improve our lives and do better, especially for our family. It's going to be a really informative class. Margaret Lowe will be talking about cooking with whole grains. She's going to have tons of samples there. So if you like samples, that's the class to attend. It's pretty amazing what you can do with whole grains too. And even if you are gluten-free, she's got lots and lots of ideas for gluten-free too. Growing Plums in Alaska, Dan Moore and Fred Dicer are going to be talking about that. Let's see. Oh, Annette Bourne is going to be bringing in her spinning. She's bringing in her spinning wheel and she's going to talk about spinning. But I want to talk for just a second about her because... Her, she's not in one of the regular classrooms. She's actually going to be in the vendor hall and she's going to be having classes in there. So if spinning, using a spinning wheel or the other class she's teaching is raising angoras for fiber. She, if you are interested in taking one of those classes from her, then my suggestion would be to get there just a few minutes early and go find her booth and let's and check with her and see what time her classes are going to be, because I don't have it on the schedule. So if that's a class that you want to attend, you can make sure you put it on your itinerary. I'm going to be talking about canning salmon. I think what's fun about talking and we'll go into pressure canning all around, but we're specifically going to be talking about canning salmon. Old Bear Honey is going to be doing a two hour beekeeping class. Super awesome. This is definitely a class you want to attend. Megan Walker is going to be talking about sourdough basics. It's again, she's, I just was talking to her yesterday and she's trying really hard to make sure she's got, you can see all the phases of sourdough. 
plus the end result. And so it's going to just be a really good, really fast paced class. Sunny Hill Farm is coming in to talk about raising yaks in Alaska. And you might be surprised at how awesome these critters are. And I don't know, it's one of those things that when you hear about them, you think maybe I really should consider this. Also, we're going to be having a class about raising Courtney's quail. So you go from like big yaks to little quail. Polaris Poultry is he, that's the other class that doesn't have a classroom. He's going to be set up outside towards the end of the building. He's going to have chicks for sale. He's going to have all sorts of things for sale. He'll have a little store set up, but he's also going to be talking about all aspects of raising poultry in Alaska, mostly chickens. So he's, he's going to talk about what breeds are better for meat, what breeds are better for what all, all the different, what to do when you first bring home chicks. He's just doing a lot of, he's covering a lot of bases. So he, he gets his own space for people to come to. So you'd have to check in with him on what his schedule is. And then plan around that for whichever classes you of his that you want to attend. The other thing that is being taught, the last thing's being taught on Saturday, or the last thing to talk about, these are not in any order by any means, is raising fodder for your livestock. Now, this is a beginner's guide. It's being taught by my son, who is actually feeding his feeding fodder to his sheep. He's got some meat sheep that are really cute and I hope he doesn't eat them, but that's a different story. Anyway, he's raising fodder for them. And so he's going to talk about what he's learned about that. That's just Saturday. Now we're on to Sunday. I'm going to um, try and keep going quickly through these worm composting. Like I mentioned before, there's a class for kids and a class for adults on worm composting, raising meat or excuse me, raising sheep for fiber and meat. That's going to be a really cool class taught by Michelle Olson. It's kind of sheep are a great resource for Alaskans because they don't tear up your ground. They don't need a ton of space. And they're a little less expensive to feed. So it's definitely worth learning more about. Rick Wilder is going to be talking about building your own lithium batteries for your off-grid cabin. Rick is just brilliant when it comes to stuff like this. And it, even though I have no, I've lived off-grid three times, I have no desire to do it again. Listening to him talk about this class was pretty fun. I'm also going to be doing a class talking about culturing milk. We're going to talk about kefir. We're going to talk about yogurt. And we're going to talk about simple cheese. We are not going to get into the hard cheeses. We're not even going to get into cheese curds. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about making farmer's cheese and how to use it because I would would make farmer's cheese, then I wouldn't know how to use it. We're also going to talk about how to use up all that way. Old Bear Honey then on Sunday is going to be talking about making homemade vinegar and flavoring it. That's going to be really cool. Luita Robinson is a, she's just a, a great friend of mine. And Luita is man, she does not let challenges stop her. So she teaches a class on homesteading when disabled or elderly and this is just a great class if you have any reason, any questions about homesteading when you have when you face challenges. She is so smart and she's lived it and just loves to share. She's also teaching a class on homestead first aid basics. So that's and again, she and she's got she got some donations for giveaways. She's doing a really fun job. Next would be the Westlakes Fire Department is super passionate about equipping adults. They're not just talking to the kids, so they're also teaching an adult class. And this is preparing your property for wildland fire safety. Here's the thing. We've had really rainy summers for the last couple of years. So we haven't really dealt much with fires here in the Valley, but there have been some big ones in the state and it's pretty scary. And so this is specifically talking about just tangible ways that you can prepare your home in case a wildland fire breaks out around you. What can you do? What are the best steps to take to save your home or to give your home its best um, chances? And what should you be doing? Things that you should be prepared for in case, um, especially if a fire breaks out near you. We actually had that happen um, a few years back. We had a fire break out not far from us. And it really makes you think. And it's harder to think about things in the moment. It's much better to have a plan ahead of time. Rachel Suzanne is going to be talking about the Alaska family milk cow, and she is just an open book and she's a natural born teacher. So I think you're really going to enjoy this class with her. And then finally, Michelle Olson is going to be teaching a class on livestock guardian dogs. So that's it. But that's a lot. That's a lot packed into one weekend. And we just are excited that you're coming. If you have any questions, you can email me at Tandy at common ground, Alaska.com, or you can can text or call me at 907-354-8551. But we are just so stoked for this weekend and we cannot wait to see you there.